Hi, this is Bree with Concepts for Thinking, and today I'm going to be talking about irony and its dark cousin, gaslighting. So irony is interesting. It's an interesting feature of human, human communication that we often express things in terms of their opposite, which is irony. So uh, sarcasm is maybe the most common or easily understood form of irony, where you say, um, that was a, that's a great joke, you're so funny, and you really mean you're an idiot that wasn't funny at all. Um, that's sarcasm. And that's a form of irony, saying things in terms of its opposite. But there are other forms. Um, irony really comes from the earliest usage is talking about the Socratic method and Socrates form of sort of derogating himself and talking about himself as if he's kind of an idiot and the people he's talking to are so knowledgeable and smart, but then all the while he's taking apart their arguments. And the irony, this sort of self-effacing irony, is sort of disarming um, and also insulting <laughs> at the same time. And irony is often like that. It's humorous. It can be used um, drama in dramatic, like in dramas, movies, and um, plays where dramatic irony is an instance where the audience knows what's going to happen. And that knowledge, um, in the face of the character's lack of knowledge, creates this kind of humor and suspense around their act act activities like if you're watching a horror movie and the character has no idea what's coming and they're really showing their ignorance as they're walking toward the closet of the room or whatever it is and you know you're, you want to yell at them like don't go in there um that's called dramatic irony and it creates you know they could play it you know sometimes in horror movies the character is expressing terror, and that really makes you afraid. Dramatic irony can make you feel a kind of anxiety, but at the same time, it's kind of, it can be kind of funny. And I think that's the kind of the role of irony. Um, I don't know all the reasons why we speak in irony, but I think that one of them, one of the most important is um, because language and communication is tangled up with power relations. And sometimes you need to say something critical to someone who's in a position of power or whose feelings might be hurt or whatever. But to say it directly and seriously would be too weighty. Um, it would make you look like an asshole. Um, whereas if you say it ironically, it can diffuse the situation, disarm, create a sense of humor. And so I think that's one of the reasons, one of the most important reasons that we use irony, and it, it's a good reason often. I mean, I think it's good to be able to, to criticize without putting a ton of weight into that criticism and making someone feel really bad and making yourself come off as though you know everything and you're just there to police everyone else. So irony can be good. But I think irony is dangerous. It can be used in a very negative way, and that's why I want to talk about gaslighting. Gaslighting is a term that many of us didn't know until very recently, when it really became apparent that we're living in a society that's full of gaslighting. But honestly, since I've become aware of this term gaslighting, I've gone back into my life and thought back over my life and realized that I witnessed gaslighting all the time throughout my life. So. Gaslighting is a fairly recent term. It comes from a, a play in the 1930s where the protagonist or antagonist, I guess, was this guy who was who made his wife think she was going crazy. He kept lighting the stove and telling her that it hadn't been lit. And until she lost, you know, kind of went crazy and he was able to put her in a sanitarium and thereby steal her money. And that's what gaslighting is. Gaslighting is where you you're lying, but it's a particular form of lying. It's not just like any lie. It's a lie where you convince the other person that you're lying to that they're crazy for thinking what they think, that for seeing the truth. Um, you can kind of do something right out in the open and then tell the person, I didn't do that. You're crazy for thinking that I did that. And it kind of drives them crazy. <clears throat> so I think here's where irony and gaslighting connect is that you're saying something without saying it, or you're saying the opposite. You're kind of lying. In irony, you're lying in the service of the truth. That's in good uses of irony. But in bad uses of irony, you're lying in the service of manipulation and hurting other people. So 
you can think of examples like I remember in high school people would um, physically sort of bully others in you know as as boys do in PE or whatever and sometimes they would gaslight they would if the person got upset they would say come on we're just playing like why are you taking things so seriously I wasn't hurting you I was we were playing around um, and that's gaslighting because they weren't playing around they were being abusive but they they had this out they could say oh I was being ironic I also remember at that time because I'm I'm kind of old I'm 40 years old now so way back in the day I mean homophobia was really prevalent and I remember there was like this in certain groups like I was I was raised Christian and like Christian guys often would put like ironically play at being um homosexual or like I don't know like inappropriate touching of each other and stuff like that and do it as a joke and I think it was meant as a joke a lot of the time but some of the time it was actual just sexual harassment um but they they always had this sort of plausible de deniability like <laughs> it's, it's just a joke like what are you why are you taking this seriously I think that happens with all kinds of sexual harassment like not only you know between men or boys but like with men to women I've seen this a lot where men are harassing women and when the woman gets upset they say why are you acting like this was this serious why are you taking this personally and that's gaslighting um, even more seriously is like if you um, in abusive relationships the person is can be really controlling and really abusive to the, the their partner and then try to persuade their partner that they deserved it um, they brought this on themselves so we, we've I've already covered um, the concept of victim blaming in um, the video on projection. But victim blaming is, is a form of gaslighting, especially if you do it to the victim. <laughs> so if you are the abuser and you tell the victim, you brought this on yourself, that's gaslighting. Because the person can plainly see they didn't bring it on themselves, but it's possible sometimes to manipulate someone into partly believing that they're to blame even when they're not. Um, and so that's really, damaging and lastly i want to just touch on sort of more trivial forms of gaslighting it's like what i think of as hipsterism where you cover your insecurity with a kind of blasé attitude i don't really care about anything i'm not trying to prove anything to anyone i'm a unique individual um, but all the while you actually are trying to figure out how to be cool and presenting it as if you are not trying to be cool you're hiding under irony and so irony in this case is sort of supporting this gaslighting that's I mean that's pretty tame it doesn't always it doesn't typically hurt someone but um it's not not necessarily um a great thing to be constantly hiding who you are um, and your insecurities with this this projection and this, this sort of gaslighting of other people so um I think it's an important skill to have to be able to understand how to use irony in a good way, how to recognize when someone's being ironic, and also how to distinguish between good forms of irony and bad forms of irony that verge or, or slide into gaslighting, where you're manipulating others, you're telling people you're doing things, and then you're not taking responsibility for what you're really doing. Um, so I hope this is helpful. I hope it is something that helps people who have been gaslit before who are trying to understand um, what's going on. And, and that's all. All right, take care.